hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back today with a really exciting video. So today's video is in partnership with Imperial College London. They are a university college campus based in London and they have accommodation that is available for the public to stay in. It's a really good high standard of um, accommodation. It's four star rated and some of the accommodation even have a gym, which is perfect. Obviously it's really great if any of you guys are planning on coming to London this summer and you want some cheap accommodation that's based in central London. They have accommodation in South Kensington, which is where I am today. They have it in Paddington, North Acton, they've got it all over London. So if you guys want to access some accommodation, I'll leave the link down below. But basically, Imperial College London reached out and said, hey Luke, we want you to showcase South Kensington to your viewers in the best way possible. And I thought, why don't I do the top five coffee shops in South Kensington? What better place to start than in central London? So, first stop is Gales Bakery. It's literally just outside South Kensington Station. It's absolutely incredible. I think they have a few of these dotted around London, but this one in South Kent is my favorite. So, let's go. So before we crack on with the video, I just want to say, if you're new here, Hi, I'm Luke. Um, if you want to subscribe, that would be amazing. It helps me out a bundle. If you click the little bell next to the subscribe button, it lets you guys know that I'm uploading new videos. And also, if you give the video a thumbs up, that would be great. But let's crack on with the video. Gales Bakery is literally just on the corner of South Kensington Tube Station and I discovered Gales about two and a half years ago when I first moved to London and their coffee is absolutely incredible and their baked goods second to none. They've got such a good selection. This one's a little mini one so they've got the best of the bunch but they've got in the regular one they've got sandwiches, cakes, scones and some really unusual stuff as well. I went for a classic sausage roll because it's truly, it's probably one of the best sausage rolls I've ever had and it's absolutely delicious and the coffee is pretty darn good. I went for a classic flat white, beautifully simple, and they do it so well. Um, I think that came to something like five pounds, so it's not really that expensive for London. Not really that bad, but let's dig in. Second to none, that's why this place is the first on the list. So the next spot I'm going to show you guys is a place called Maitre Shoe. This is just on Harrington Road, just off of South Kensington Tube Station again, super close. They have an offer where you can get a coffee and a Maitre Shoe Claire for £4.50, which is super good for central London and these ma- Look at these! <gasps> Truly guys, I've had one of these before and they are 10 out of 10 sensational. Let's go inside and choose some flavours. Worth noting that there are other major shoe locations around London. That was the one in South Kensington, just off of the underground. I asked the staff to recommend me an eclair flavour and it was delicious. I went for a raspberry and vanilla cream and it was so good. On to the next coffee shop, let's go. Okay, so the third coffee spot on the list might seem like a bit of an unusual one, but we're at the National History Museum and it's beautiful. There is, I think there's two coffee shops inside here. And if you're after a bit of culture, a bit of history, a bit of well, yeah, natural history, you come here. It's one of my favorite museums in London. If you are visiting, you have to check it out. It's free entry, and they have some awesome coffee shops inside with some very, very delicious food. So let's head inside and hope the queues aren't too crazy. It's half term this week, so um, I have a feeling it might be a tad busy, but we'll just go straight to the coffee shop. So this museum is absolutely amazing. It's probably one of my favorite museums in London. It's really, really cool. They changed this. Um, I'm not quite sure how often they change this, but it used to be a dinosaur, now it's a giant whale. So it's not going to be the place you want to come to get a little bit of quiet. However, the coffee is very good. I've had it before. The food is delicious. And 
you can have your coffee being surrounded by possibly one of the most beautiful places in London. shop number four I'm taking you guys to is called Brown and Rose. It is literally on the corner with this beautiful floral display behind us. It's one of the places I come if I want to grab a spot of brunch as well. I'm super full at the moment after my eclair and my sastro, but if you want to grab some coffee, this place is awesome. So let's go in. I've gone for a decaf option this time. Also, I can't speak too much because they've got music on, so I don't want to get on the coffee right now, but decaf that's a little bit Oh yeah, really, really good. That is Brown and Rosie. It's just on the corner of Exhibition Road. Really good coffee in there and delicious food as well. If you're ever in the area for brunch, I'd definitely recommend this spot. Absolutely awesome. Now we are off to the final coffee shop of the five top coffee shops in South Kensington. Genuinely, I feel like I'm very caffeinated right now. Although that was decaf, I still feel like I've got a lot of caffeine in my system. But this one's a good one, so let's go. of the top five coffee shops I feel deserve a place in this video in partnership with Imperial College London. Like I said at the beginning guys, if you want to check out the accommodation, I'm going to link it down below. It's absolutely perfect if you guys want to save a little bit of money and stay in central London. You know, the accommodation looks absolutely fantastic. Do click the link down below and check Imperial College out. Like I said, they've got locations all over London. Um, but thank you so much to those guys for sponsoring this video. I really hope you've enjoyed having a look around some of my favorite coffee shops. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button and let me know in the comments which one your favorite one was. And if you visit, let me know as well. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.